Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm James and you're watching Blue Dog Aquatics. Now, today, I mean, as you can see, our tanks are full of plants again, which is absolutely awesome. But that is not what we are talking about today. Today, we are actually talking about our betas. Now, we get this question a lot of times in our store because we actually have betas in just about every single tank that we have here. Um, and they range from giant betas to show betas to AAA uh, crown tails. Uh, so, and actually one of my favorite, oh, look, here's a junior. Hello. The biggest question that we hear is how do you keep betas with other fish? And it's quite simple. There, there's a lot of things to actually think about when putting betas with other fish. A, well, let's start with number one. Number one would be what size is the tank? Because if you have something like a five gallon, like this one is here, then you would have to be a lot more cautious. Uh, I wouldn't even, it would pretty, pretty much the beta by itself. I wouldn't even have any fish, hence why there are no betas in here because I actually have a breeding project going on right now of uh, some purple haze uh, endlers. But we didn't want to add because obviously then that would bring a territorial issue. Number, number two, betas need a minimum of a five gallon tank. Uh, I know there's the old rules that, you know, oh, well they used to put them in a cup and there's certain big box stores that still put them in cups. Well, guess what, I don't. Um, if, if you notice, Betas that are in cups look depressed, they look stressed, they just don't look happy. Like him. He's nice and happy. Uh, this is actually one of our uh, show koi betas. And he's in with neon tetras. But betas should not be in a small setup they're stressed, they're not able to move around a lot. Uh, they'll actually, some of them I've actually seen will uh, turn on, they'll pick at their tails uh, out of stress or boredom. Um, so we don't want to do that to our betas. We want our betas to live long and happy lives. So in doing so, I tell people no smaller than a 10 or a five gallon tank. Now you can put them in a 10, we keep our betas in 20s. Now, if you want fish with them, then you need to also consider how much space. So these betas are going to claim dominance to some part. Uh, that's actually our AAA crown tail right there, chasing one of the females. But if there's a lot of space, then there's no issues with territory. Now, the this tank right here, we have uh, an assortment of female betas, and there is one male beta. He's our crown tail. And he's in here with uh, Zebra Danios and Harlequin Rasboras. Now, yep, you can see he, he's trying to be the boss and trying to run the girls around. Oh, that wasn't a girl. That was a, that was a well, I mean, who knows? It might've been a girl. But we wanna make sure that these guys have plenty of room to move um, if they want to nestle in with plants, then they can. But typically, if you have a community or like a community tank like this one here, um, you can see that there are lots of plants in here for the fish to hide in and for the betas to hide. And one little trick, if you do have, let's say you have a beta first and you want to introduce fish into your tank, um, a good and easy way to do that is to actually pull, let's say you got driftwood or plants, re pull the beta out of the tank, rearrange the tank, introduce your uh, fish, your community fish or whatever fish you have going in there, and then introduce the beta. The reason we do that is because the beta now has to stake new territory. He has to figure out where everything is. And so you will have less issues with territory if you do it that way. And that's what we recommend with any, um, if you're wanting to do a beta with your fish, always introduce the fish first and then add the betas. Now there are certain fish that we don't add betas with. 
guppies are one of them. Now, guppies or really anything with a big flowing tail. Now you're like, well, how is it that you have a beta in with these guppies? Well, this is a junior beta. He's a baby. He doesn't have all that built up testosterone yet. So he actually leaves the guppies alone. Now, would I put a mature adult in here or a giant in here? No way. And that's why in this guppy tank, there are no adult betas. Um, there is a junior beta in here somewhere, but he's hiding. Uh, if you see him, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also, I wanna take a moment to thank everybody, uh, all the new subscribers, this channel. We are almost at 4,500 subscribers and that is all thanks to you guys. Um, I couldn't do it without you, <laughs> but yeah, back at this. So betas, how do I introduce them into my tank? Well, let's say that this is your tank right here. We're going to, we're going to break it down step by step. Obviously make sure that your tank goes through its cycle process, which for a freshwater tank is six to eight weeks. You can quick start them or fast cycle them, but you're still waiting two to three weeks in my opinion. Then, if you know for a fact that you want to bait up, this is a 40 gallon breeder here, I would introduce your fish. Figure out what kind of fish you want. Um, talk to either specialists or people in the trade that know fish or what fish would go well with uh, a beta, which I mean, obviously you don't want to put peacock cichlids with a beta. The, the peacock cichlids are going to beat the crap out of them. Uh, now you could do something that is fast moving. So you could do um, the blue tetras um, or you could do, and you're like, well, they have flo flowing tails. Yes, but they are a lot faster than the beta. Uh, hence why we have a, we have a large beta down here somewhere, but he is with our deep water rainbow fish and our red and blue Colombian tetras because they are all fast moving fish. Oh, there he is. Oh, the glare. Uh, there he is. Giant beta. So just be mindful that if you do have a, sorry, I'm losing steam here. I, I, I'm not feeling the grace today. Um, if you do have a beta in your tank already just remove the beta from the tank redecorate which gives you a perfect time to come plant shopping and get new plants in your tank but then add the new fish in wait about 10 minutes that way all the fish can claim you know the area so like uh this was an already established tank so the neon tetras are just moving around and doing their other thing and they're they are a lot smaller but and then we introduced the beta and you can see the beta gives no cares, does not care about the neon tetras one bit. And you will notice that the bigger the tank that you have, your beta is gonna be a lot more active. Uh, these guys just go back and forth swimming from side to side of the tank. Um, they are very, very happy. So if you're ever wanting to introduce a beta into your tank, then this is how you do it. I hope this was helpful guys. Um, I do get that question quite often. So always put your fish in first and then the beta and make sure that the fish you put in are either fast moving or are uh, short finned or community fish. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And as always the big question, your tank or mine.